Okay, so today I'm going to test with my Phantom 3 Advanced the Litchi Go App under waypoints. Start the screen recording. Birds on the ground. Top left corner says FPV. I'm going to touch that. I'm going to touch waypoints. I'm going to load. Top left tray it says load flight. I'm going to pick Sports Park 1. Hit load. Okay, it's got mission is 15 minutes. I'm only at 91% battery. We're gonna give it a go, and if I need to override it, I will. So let's see. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the bird in the air. Actually, I am not gonna do that because I haven't calibrated the compass yet. So I'm gonna do that first. Settings, aircraft, calibrate, okay. Hold the aircraft horizontally and rotate at 360 degrees. Hold the aircraft vertically with the nose pointed towards the ground and rotate the aircraft 360 degrees. Compass successfully calibrated. I'm going to take the aircraft off. Bring it up. Altitude. Say, I don't know, about 115. That'll do good. Flipping the stick to F mode. Going to hit play. Go mission. Let's hope it does what it's supposed to do. And here we go. So it's going to fly. There it goes. It's flying over to waypoint one. I've got. 18 minutes of battery and I can't even remember what it said for how long this mission is but I have stick control so if I need to speed this up I can Gotta turn around so what am I showing here my transmission is 100% my video is 100% underneath the Battery level of my transmitter is showing NA for some reason. It'll probably change momentarily. So right now it's on its way over to the railroad track. Waypoint number two, and I've got it curved, and it's pointing because I told it to go to a point at a waypoint. So I'm going to shrink this down a bit. So you can see there's a lot of waypoints waiting. Okay, and I'm going to also goose this bad boy up. I'm going currently full stick forward. It says 15 miles an hour. And it's not changing, so interesting. I thought I could do that. I can't. It's under Navi. It's on its way over. How am I doing for transmission? That looks good. shelter for the wind. Also testing out a hood today to see how that works. I have transmission reflectors. You know those plastic things with like a copper shell on them. I'm trying those out. I got it on there today. 
my video transmission. Look at that, it's just dropping down to zero. Fascinating. My controller transmission shows 100%, but the video is bouncing all over the place. Bizarre. Okay, what's he doing? Got a whole lot of waypoints over here. Oh, I know what's going on. It's kind of low down there. It's going by the, the bridge. I think as long as the transmission strength is 100%, it just keeps on rocking. And I'm happy with that. You can see in the bottom right corner the video feed is going. I'm going to just switch it here for a second. So there's a video. Yeah, it's a little bit choppy because it's it's only at 150 feet from my position up. So over there, you know, it's way up in the air. It's over the treetops. It should be higher if I was going to get a better video transmission with all these trees. And I got a bunch of light posts in my way. How's it doing? And you see the leg popping in the video. It's freaking windy over there. That's wonderful. 75% battery left. Well, dude, I hope you got enough to do this. Because I think where it's going to end up in a while is going to be downwind of me, which is not great. See the camera's supposed to pan over that way. There's a river hiding down there. I think at this point in my waypoint settings, I don't have a point of interest. What I did was I set a gimbal pitch at I think it was 30 degrees down. And for every waypoint, I programmed what heading I wanted the camera to be facing for this next set. So when it goes from waypoint to waypoint, it's just following a heading I gave it. I'll bring up the map. Okay, so he's over there. It would appear I'm still getting telemetry. I think it's moving. My transmission strength still says 100%. The video's bouncing around. Whatever. And he's going down there. So 17 minutes remaining on my battery. And if I go out, you can see it's got a ways to go yet. With 15.59 minutes remaining. Yeehaw. I 
How we doing, buddy? Please come home when you're finished. What's this say? 12, 13. Holding 150 feet. She's about 2,300 for me. Still doing what I thought. 15 miles an hour is what I told it to do. 14 minutes of battery life remaining before my life is over. Oh, okay. We I mean, move. There you go. How's that? What I'm doing now is just because I have these directional cup things, I'm making sure I stay pointing where the approximate area of the bird is. Where's it now? It's over there. Okay. Warning. Signal lost. So it would be good if you knew your surroundings when you do something like this, so you know where it's going to be, approximately. Quote. Okay. So transmission strength 100%, video like zero, whatever that's good for. Thirteen minutes of battery. Well, it's bouncing around, eh? Twelve fifteen. I wonder why that is. If it's you know it gets a bit of wind or so I don't know. The other thing I'm noticing here is I'm flying in this Waypoint F mode. Your normal feedback of battery life versus distance from my location. That's bouncing around. Basically, from me. Morning signal lost. There. Got about 10, 10 minutes or so. It's coming closer. I'm liking that. Distance for me is down less, less than 2,000. Well, not quite. 2,100. Video strength is coming back. I have a building between my location and that uh, bird right now. And its altitude is only 150, so it was obstructing me for about two minutes. Apologize for the background noise. I can't find a date when they're not cutting grass around here. How we doing, little bird? At the completion of my missions, I usually say, do nothing. Like it says, would you like to come home? Would you like it to land? Would you like it to make you coffee? But I just say do nothing. Sit there and hopefully if it made it back, it's well within my eyesight and I can easily just fly it home from there. I'm 
pretty comfortable right now. It's got over nine minutes of battery and it's just around the corner. Uh, what's it say? Distance for me is only 870 feet. So no problem. It's almost at the finish point. There it be. And it's just coming to a stop. I'm going to flip back to P mode. You'll see that at the top says PGPS. I'm going to put the camera up. I'm going to bring her on in. How's my buddy cutting the grass? Doing? Is he having a good time? Looks like he's having fun. Wendy is shy out here. Man, oh man, that's quite a crosswind. So that seems to have worked okay.